Okay, so the first step is going to be to open up the Hype Operations Center. Now this is assuming that most of you already have this installed. If not, I will link it in the description below. Um, you'll see this here and you can download the Hype Operations Center. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Settings. And here we have our folder selections and it says automatic and I don't even know if that works, but the way I got this to work was the following because currently I have this pointing to the, to the Steam store. So what we're going to want to do is click on the custom community folder location. Now the location for Flight Simulator 2024 community folder is going to be here if you use the Microsoft Store account. If you use the Steam account, it's going to be here. So in my case, I'm just going to follow along here. So this is going to be the C drive. So I'm just going to go down here. I'm going to go down to users. I'm going to go into my username. I'm going to go to app data. I'm going to go to local. And then I'm going to scroll down to packages. I'm going to go to Microsoft.limitless. And then there's a key here. So we'll click on that. I'm going to go to local cache. I'm going to click on packages and this is the community folder. So before you click on this, right click and then create a shortcut because you're going to be using this quite a bit. And then you can go ahead and click control X. And if you want, you can hit the windows key and desktop control V and then just paste that shortcut here. And I'll probably end up renaming that shortcut to FS 2024 community folder. So here we are in the community folder and we're gonna click select folder. Let's jump back into the Hype Operations Center. And as you can see, the custom community folder is now pointing to this location. It's also lit up in green. Now I'm also gonna do the same thing for the custom official folder location. And I'm gonna to go to that same folder. So it looks like it's already pulling it. I'm gonna double check this directory. And let's see. Yeah, so this is the same one. And it's like select folder. And so now we both have these here. So when we go back to our uh, aircraft here, so the H145, we click on manage installation. You can see that now we have these install tabs. If you go back to the other folder here in the settings and we switch over to the steam and then automatic and we go back into our H145, it's already installed. See, it says new version installed and whatnot, so, and remove packages. So this is how we know that this is actually sitting in FS 2020. And now, if we wanna go back over to our Flight Simulator 2024, I'll select that folder. It remembers the last folder I was in, which is very convenient. Thank you, Hype. And so now I'll go back into my H145, it says update available, manage installation. So here, I'm going to install this build 491. Okay, so the installation is complete. Now, if you've already installed your product from Hype Performance for FS 2020, the key codes will automatically be remembered. So no issue there. If, you, if this is a new installation for you, you would point to those directories and then you would just put in your key codes. So here we have the community location. It says that we're installed and we have build 491. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and close the Hype Operations Center. And I can double check. Now, remember I said about that community folder location here, and we can see these have been installed inside of the community folder. So let's close that out. Okay, so next, you're gonna wanna make sure that you've downloaded the Build 500. Now, if you have the Action Pack, make sure you also download the Action Pack Build Upgrade. This uh, HTOS data, I'm not sure if this actually will work. I'm gonna copy it into the community folder anyway. It didn't cause me any problems. So these three files here, now there's one thing you gotta be careful of, is both of these say upgrade, okay? And the one you're actually looking for is actually inside of here. So let's go ahead and back into our community shortcut, that handy shortcut that we did. I'll move this over just a little bit. And I'll just copy over the HTOS for now. Okay, so that's in the community folder. And so we're gonna go with the build 500 upgrade. So we'll double click into that folder and this here, we'll just copy this over and we should get some notifications asking us to overwrite. And we're gonna replace files in destination. Next, we're gonna take the action pack. We've double clicked it into this folder and we can see that we have our information in here. So we'll just drag this over and it's gonna also prompt us and say if we wanna overwrite and we're gonna click replace the files in destination. Okay, let's close these windows out. 
Next, let's open up the Hype Operations Center once again. Let's go back to our H145. I'm going to click here. I'm going to click Manage Installation. And we can see right here, Installed, Build 500. So we know those are in there. Close out of the Hype Operations Center and jump into Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Okay, here we are in Flight Simulator 2024. I'm going to go ahead and click Free Flight. And then I'm going to click on my current helicopter, which is the H125. I'll just go ahead and click the Helicopters tab. And we can see we have the H145 in here. Now, if you click on this helicopter, and then you click Configure down here in the bottom left, this will open up the liveries page. So here we can see we have our different type of liveries. So we have our variations here. So I guess I will just click on the Coast Guard one for now. Save and go back. All right, so we're just gonna pick an airport here. I think we'll just use Key West. And we'll just pick maybe one of these uh, ramps, GA small, so it's cold and dark. We'll set as departure. That'll pop that in there. And we'll just click Start Flight. I'm gonna click on Ready to Fly. Now, if you're like me, I had trouble here because there's no way to actually open up the door in the helicopter yet. So if you hit Shift-C, this will end the walk-around mode and then put you in the cockpit. 